Hello everyone, welcome to this video, thank you so much for clicking on it, I really appreciate it. If you've seen my previous video where I react to the music video for Secret Story of the Swan, then you know what's about to happen. Uh, we are listening to uh, Oniric Diary, Oniric Diary I think is how you pronounce it, um, by Eyes One, their third midi, mini album, correct? Um, yeah, I'm super excited. The only tracks we're not going to do, we're not going to do the Japanese tracks. I'm probably going to do them separately later on at some point on Patreon because YouTube and Japanese tracks don't mesh very well. Um, so I'm going to have to be really careful with them. But we are going to listen to everything else. Um, and obviously I'll hear the Korean versions of those tracks. So um, yeah, I'm super excited. We are going to include the lyric video for Secret Story of the Swan because I could not for the life of me pay attention to anything other than the song itself and the visuals in that music video. I couldn't read lyrics. So uh, that's what we're going to do in this. I'm really excited to see what kind of sound they're bringing. I did check out the... Um, highlight medley so I have a rough idea but I only saw it that once I haven't listened to it again so I've kind of forgotten a little bit about what these are going to sound like um but yeah I'm super excited let's just jump into it um yeah let's go alrighty so track one is the welcome track welcome um I'm assuming this is just kind of like an introduction um I'm assuming it has a lyric seeing as there is a lyric video for it um but yeah let's just see what it's all about three two one Oh yeah, this is the one that was in the album trailer. I remember. I love this, it's so dreamy and magical. It really does, this song really does feel like if you were walking through like a fairy tale forest Uh. I just I love that so much that like music box sound I really do have like a special place in my heart for music boxes um yeah, that's a really lovely introduction. I don't have a huge amount to say about it because obviously we hear at least most of it, if not all of it, in that album trailer. Um, but yeah, so pretty, so fairy tale and magical, and yeah, just a really interesting introduction to the album. Right, let's move on to the big one. Let's move on to Secret Story of the Swan. I, as I said, could not pay attention to the lyrics of this for the life of me, so I'm really intrigued to see what they actually are. Um, I am obsessed with the song. I, yeah, I was so not expecting this sound from it, but it has immediately catapulted to one of my favourites of this year so far, and yeah, so excited for them. Um, let's just go. Three, two, one. No, sorry, pausing. Um, I know that on Eric, it's like of dreams, like it means like something to do with dreams, um, which kind of ties into this whole like fairy tale thing. Um, is this a theme that goes through the whole album? We shall see. I'm intrigued. I like it so far. <laughs> I'm just remembering how beautiful both of these women looked in the music video. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm so obsessed with this song. The melody of that bit leading up into the chorus, the drop. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I need to appreciate that more. The like 
really slow synthetic drum there. Oof. Just like falling into the rest of the song. This is such a... an epic song. Like, it, it sounds like a K-pop song, right? It, it has that, that kind of production. It, it sounds like a pop song. But lyrically, these are some pretty, like, epic fantasy kind of lyrics, you know? This is like... There's like a heroic feeling to the lyrics. Okay. I need to listen to um, one that fake out again, and two, just uh, the way, the way that. You know what it reminds me of? Um, you know when New Rules by Dua Lipa dropped? Um, if any of you listen to non-K-pop music. <laughs> um, but when New Rules dropped, there was a lot of reasons why it got really, really big. It was just one of those songs, everyone was obsessed with it. But the one of the things that I thought was really phenomenal about the production on it, and one of the things that really grabbed people about it, was the way it, the the like synthetic drums they had this like tumble down into the chorus and it was like this offbeat and that's what they're using in this and it just works so well with the melody of that line and yeah I'm completely obsessed with it we're gonna listen to it again <laughs> oh it's just so good song so much I love it so much <laughs> so I I really loved Fiesta um, but the little bits that I'd heard of it beforehand I didn't think I would love it because the snippets I heard it just kind of sounded like a bit of an onslaught of noise um, and obviously now that I've heard the full thing, it, it works really well and it works really well for the song. Um, there are moments where, and I've, I've noticed this with a few songs this year, there are moments where there are so many sounds happening that it's a little bit, at least for me personally, like this is all my personal opinion, um, it's almost a little bit disorientating. But this, this is freaking awesome. Like, I, I love it, I love it so much. It has just such a great balance. It's so well produced. The music video is stunning. I'm, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited by this song. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna be, I said this in my music video reaction, but I'm gonna be checking out the live performances um, very soon. Those will be going up, up, wow. Those will be going up on Patreon um, because Lord knows YouTube can be a bit funny about live performances. So they're going up on there. Um, links will be in the description if you wanna go and check them out. But yeah, let's move on to Pretty. Now this is where things become pretty much brand new. I know I, we heard snippets of it in the um, highlight medley, but I honestly cannot remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what we've got going on. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Mmm. Ooh, summer vibes. Oh my god, that's the cutest thing. Ooh. It's a melody. Oh, I love this. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, this whistle. I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to say this. This is gay. <laughs> I'm just saying it. It's so cute. Oh, I really like the way this like breaks down and comes back up. Oh, it makes me so happy. It's so cute. And I, yeah, I'm, I love this whistle. It's, it adds like that extra layer of summer vibe. Get it, Yodi! I'm gonna be adding this song to my running playlist and it is just gonna make me so happy while I'm running. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you hear that little ad lib in the back there? There's it. Right there! That was so pretty and so subtle. That was the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. And that's saying something. <laughs> oh. I feel so warm and happy on the inside. Oh, that's one for the heart. That is just one to make you feel good, to cheer you up. Mm, love that. Loved that a lot. <laughs> I really love the first comment on this ly lyric video. <laughs> Lesbians, did I hear my name? <laughs> yep. <laughs> the song has big gay energy and I am here for it. All right, let's move on to merry-go-round. Um, God, I am so happy right now. I'm so happy, I can't stop smiling. My face is gonna hurt by the end of this video. All right, merry-go-round, three, two, one, go. 
Oh, okay. Okay, disco vibes. Where are we going with this? This has such, like, disco production. This pre chorus and build up. Nice. I can't get over how, like, seventies. Some of this production sounds, but like modernized, obviously. <laughs> oh, I really like the way that this breaks down. Ooh. Yeah, and these little bits of guitar in the background. I think this one's going to be similar to Daydream. Um, when I was doing my Blue Eyes album reaction, I I liked Daydream a lot when I first heard it, but it wasn't actually until I listened to it a second time that I completely fell in love with that song, and now it's one of my favourites of the album. Um, it wasn't when I first listened to it, and I feel like this is going to do something similar. I really, really like this, but in comparison to the previous two, it hasn't grab me quite as much, but I hear that note. I hear that note. Those notes. I do really like the production on this. I love that it's kind of disco inspired. Also some really interesting melodies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think that's going to be one that sneaks up on me a little bit. As I said, really liked it, but in comparison to um, Pretty and Secret Story of the Swan, um, it's not quite on their level yet for me, but we'll see. We'll see. I think that one could creep up on me. Right, let's move on to... Ah! Right. No, stop. Having technical difficulties. Um, right, yes, let's move on to Rococo, I assume is how that's pronounced. Um, yeah, if I remember rightly, I can't remember what it sounded like, but I remember saying that this was one that I was really looking forward to when I was um, checking out the highlight medley, so let's go. Yes. Right away, right, right away, right away. This is some of my favorite, one of my favorite styles of production, like just in general. Ooh. Where we going? Where we going? Some, we've got some pipes. Love this rap verse. I think my the one thing this first bit of the chorus isn't grabbing me and isn't hitting as hard as I thought it was going to. I still really like it, but it isn't hitting as hard as I thought it would. But this this second half 
however, it's killer. I really, really like this. I love the verses. Oh, I am obsessed with the way Umbi did it in the first chorus, but with the way Jaewon and Umbi sing these lines. Oh. Ooh. Put light into this darkness, draw a galaxy just for us. I like that. I like that lyric. Yes, Jaewon! Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I hear you, Adlibs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like this a lot. This song's just getting better the more it's going on. Ooh. Yeah, that was an interesting one. That, like, it started super strong. Like, as I said, it's like one of my favorite styles of production. Um, and then that chorus didn't hit as hard as I was expecting it to or as hard as I wanted it to. But then the second half of the chorus kicked in and just from that point the song just got better as we went along um yeah this this mini album is killer um and just like that other than the japanese singles which as i said we will check out on patreon later um we're up to the last song now this one i know is a sound a, a sad song fan song um which is very cute and that they wrote it, which is also very cute. And yeah, okay. I'm ready to get in my feelings about it. So let's go. Did you want? Oh no. I said this in my Lumai's reaction, but their voices suit these style of songs so well. Oh, sorry, Eugen. Sorry, Eugen. We need to appreciate your voice a little bit more because you sounded beautiful. So did Minju. Don't get me wrong. I love the vibrato on Eugen's voice. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's gonna build. I think it would be... Right, we're gonna pause because I don't want to miss too much. Um, I think it would be too much whiplash if we went from, you know, the previous four songs um, to like a complete ballad style. Like that would just be too, too sharp a U-turn. Um, but this kind of this very smooth easy production that will build a little bit through the song this is a really lovely way to close out the album obviously aside from the japanese tracks um yeah Eugen is killing this song. Oh. This is so cute. As much as I caused you pain, I'll protect you. Excuse me? Excuse me? What pain could you have possibly caused, Wanyoung? Wait. No, that wasn't her. That wasn't her fault. Anyway. <laughs> Unless there's something I don't know of. I don't think any of these girls have actively caused anyone pain. <laughs>
This is so sweet, I can't get over it. Oh, what a great way to end it. I hear you. <laughs> Okay, we started to get a little teary-eyed there, but I held it in. I held it in, but it was close. <laughs> oh, that was a really lovely way to end this. Obviously, I know the album doesn't like officially end here. You've got the Japanese tracks, but for all intents and purposes, this was like the album. Those two are kind of extras. Um, and this is just a lovely conclusion to it. Um, yeah, beautiful song. They did such a beautiful job and... <sighs> this was a really lovely mini album. Um, I mean, I, I loved listening to Blue Eyes. I thought that was such an incredible album and beautiful songs and it just made me super excited for this and to go back and listen to the other two mini albums as well um and this hasn't disappointed at all this is great so so good um as i have done with previous album reactions i will leave my ranking my personal ranking of the songs um right here um obviously minus the japanese versions i i think Pretty and the Secret Story of the Swan are absolutely the top two. I'm not sure which way round they are. I'm gonna have to listen to them again. Um, but yeah, brilliant album. Uh, let me know what your favourite songs were. Um, I yeah, let's just let's just talk about it. <laughs> I'm gonna go and watch the live performances now. Those will be up on Patreon very soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this album. Um, let's support it. Let's support this song. But yeah. See you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.